I was like, we well, have to do this compel or I won't. <laughs> Well, we're gonna have water, but we have light. That's right. There we go. We've got light. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's all that matters. Okay. Tell me your name. I'm Jennifer. Wonderful. And Jennifer, tell me your story. Tell you. Tell me what you're going through. Um. Well, I've been in recovery from my PTSD for several years. Um. I started coming to Awesome shortly after I started that recovery journey. Um, my blood pressure was crazy high and just hyper vigilant, tons of stress. Um, and when I first started coming here, gradually my blood pressure went down. The hyper vigilant system started to decrease to where I could feel safe, not only in awesome, but outside in the world as well. Um, I was able to walk in the building and just take a deep breath instead of holding my breath all the time. And um, my family noticed the changes and the stress reduction that it brought. So when life would get busy and I couldn't make it in, they would tell me, it's time to go, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. <laughs> um, it's just a nice, caring place. Everyone's been just real genuine and I'm excited to come back on a regular basis. Okay, so life kind of hit, mm -hmm. and a lot of medical things happened and mm -hmm. different things, um, and so a scholarship was necessary. Yes. Kind of. All right, yes. fantastic. Well, we are so excited um, to be, be to be doing this for you. So you saw the benefits of it mm -hmm. when you were coming before, and then weren't able to come. Yes. Have you have you been able to see that there's been some some stability in what the work you did before um, are you have you gotten to the level that you were before and that's why you need to come back or are you still less than you were before and this is kind of a okay I've just got to get back to kind of maintain yes yes I'm excited to come in and maintain that reduced stress level and just that sense of peace you know life hits especially this year with everything going on anxiety starts to build up and um, I've noticed awesome is just a place, a safe place to let that stress out. Um, and physical healing also. I've been through surgery and other medical treatments and I'm just excited to come back and see how awesome can help my body heal faster as well. So your surgery's arm, knee, I can't remember. Um, it was a hip. Hip, yes. okay. Yes. I remember it was a joint. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so a hip surgery, mm -hmm. and um, how long has it been since the surgery? Uh, it's been about 10 months. 10 months, and where are you in your recovery process? Um, from the hip, in a place to where I finally um, feel comfortable walking, moving, mm -hmm. tons of physical therapy, and I'm like, there's got to be, what else can I do okay, for so more healing? Okay, so you're not back to normal yet. No. So what, what are you looking for? Is it, is it pain? Is it ease of movement? What are we looking to improve during the next few months while you're here at Awesome again? Um, ease of movement, less pain. You know, I want to get muscles built up stronger um, and maybe inflammation reduced just so I can get out there and live the life I want to live. Okay, get back to where you were mm -hmm. hopefully yes. before the surgery. Yes. And then some other surgeries that are taking Yes. One's about to happen, yes. right? And um, and so it'll be interesting to see how preparing mm -hmm. beforehand and then, um, after, and then after how quickly your recovery is. So we'll, yes. we'll let people know how that goes awesome. a little bit. So um, um, what are some of the other changes that you're going to make during this time that you think, okay, this I'm gonna take this awesome scholarship and I'm going to really use it to the best of my ability to help my body, to help my mind, to help all that. What other things are you doing in addition to awesome to help facilitate that? Just so that, you know, because a lot of times people will say, well, I lost all this weight going to this one place, but what they're not telling you is, yeah, I took their shake or whatever, but I also started exercising and I also started getting more sleep and I also focused on my stress. 
we want to be really transparent with everyone and and say okay yes i went to awesome but i also did is there anything else you're planning on doing in addition to awesome just to help with the physical or emotional healing during this period of time um diet plays a good role in life as well and just the physical therapy routines that i'm doing on the outside okay too. so you're gonna stick with the physical mm -hmm. therapy as much as i can okay and coming here and then nutrition wise what are you are you planning on changing something or just sticking with what you've been doing sticking with what i've been doing and what have you been doing um like a low carb well balanced diet with vegetables and fruits okay healthy okay foods staying away from the sugar and all the junk awesome okay so just more of a whole food mm -hmm. type of a lifestyle and you've been doing that yes. but you're going to stick to that so really awesome is the only thing that you're adding uh, to yes your already existing wellness practices and therapy. Yes. But we are adding a surgery into the middle of all mm -hmm. of this. So yes. it will be interesting to see how that goes. Yes. All right. Well, um, we're so excited for you to be our first scholarship recipient and we're excited mm -hmm. to change lives. So, all right. Is there anything else that we should know about you or your life or anything else that you'd like people to know about awesome or anything else? Um, no, I just want people to know that if you can identify with my story, to not give up, just keep going through it. And at one point you'll get to where you can look back and say, I made it and it's so worth it. That's great, thanks. All right, it'll be fun to watch the next three months unfold. Me too, I'm excited. <laughs>